Hi guys and welcome to the latest edition of Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. Now on this edition of the vlog we have uh, been fortunate enough to be invited to Owlamore Primary School in Potalbat where celebrating their Welsh History Week in commemoration of St David's Day last week they have uh, been learning about the history of Welsh rugby and there we went in now to uh, give a presentation on the three golden eras of Welsh rugby history, of course being the turn of the last century, 1970s with Sir Gareth Edwards and the boys, and the current crop right now with Sir Warren Gatland, soon to be perhaps, and chasing down the 2019 Six Nations crown. Well, it was great that we got to uh, meet some of the children and staff there at Alamore Primary and uh, saw what they thought of the history of Welsh rugby. Welcome back to Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. Welsh week, so what do we need to say for his time? Hi guys, well, thank you very, very much for inviting me to your lovely school. And uh, it's great to see so many Welsh jerseys, especially the rugby ones, for your Welsh week. What I'm going to be talking to you about today is the history of Welsh rugby, okay? So, uh, as Gemma said then, my name's Stuart Broad. But when I used to play rugby, everyone would call me Gumpy. Has everyone, has everyone seen the film Forrest Gump? Yes. Up, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And have you seen the bit when he runs really fast? Yes. Yeah. Well, when I used to play rugby, they said I was a fast runner, so they used to give me the ball and say, Run, Forrest, run! So that's why they call me Stuart Gumpy Broad, okay? So, we're going to be talking about the history of Welsh rugby, and in particular, what's called the Golden Era. So I'll explain what that means very shortly. Anyway, this is the Castle Hotel in Eve. Next time you drive past it, oh, yeah. we may go there, right? Oh, yeah. That is where Welsh rugby all started. That's where it all started over 130 years ago. So it's a long time. It's very, very, very old, even older than me. Now then, rugby union is the national sport of Wales, which means that we're pretty good at it. In fact, at this very moment, Wales is the third best rugby country in the world and if we win our next two games we'll be the second best this welsh team arthur gould was like we would imagine say uh, george north is today you know or alan Wynne jones he was the first ever superstar of the welsh rugby side there he is arthur gould but as i said welsh rugby then was an amateur sport so arthur would have had a job he wasn't paid to play rugby he did it because he loved the sport and, and because he loved his country. So, there was a scandal when Arthur retired from playing rugby, actually. And the scandal was that all the rugby clubs in Wales, all the supporters, all the, uh, the Welsh Rugby Union bosses, they all thought, do you know what? Arthur Gould has been such a good star for the Welsh Rugby said, What we're going to do is we're going to gather some money together and we're going to buy him a house. It's not a nice thing to do, right? Eh? And they bought Arthur a nice house, but then the home countries, Ireland, Scotland and England, said, You can't do this. Rugby is an amateur sport. Players don't get paid. And what they did was, they didn't play us for three years. Otherwise our golden era probably would have gone on a bit longer. But I'll tell you what it is, look. It's 1969 to 1979. Now I was born in 1979, so this is over 40 years ago. Okay, uh, so this time it was a period of 10 years where Wales were at the best ever. Now this Welsh rugby side had more than just one star. Okay, Arthur Gould was the star of the first golden era, but this rugby side had plenty of stars. Players like Barry John, JPR Williams, Gerald Davis, Ray Gravel, Phil Bennett and Alan Martin. Does anyone know where Alan Martin comes from? Put Talbot? Yes. Now the biggest star of them all, we haven't mentioned him yet. Does anybody know who the biggest star of this team was? 
No, I'm not Shane Williams. That comes later. Oh, you got the first name correct. Wrong sport, but the first name is correct. <coughs> no, so we've, we've established his name is Gareth. Has anyone heard of Gareth Edwards? Have you heard of Gareth Edwards? So Gareth Edwards played scrum half during this golden era, the second golden era from 1969 to 1979. And he really was the biggest star, not just in the Welsh side, but possibly in the whole world of rugby. And there he is, Gareth Edwards, when he was playing for Wales back in the 70s. Now in 2003, so not that long ago, but 16 years ago, Gareth Edwards was voted as the greatest rugby player of all time. What they did was they got uh, a load of former players and coaches and rugby experts, and they all voted on who they thought was the greatest rugby player that's ever played the sport of rugby. And he was a Welshman, and it was Gareth Edwards. And then in 2015, he was made a knighthood by Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, for all of his services to rugby. So everything that he'd done for the sport of rugby and continues to do, was uh, he was rewarded with a knighthood. Does anyone know what that means? It means that he was, he became a sir. That's correct, exactly right. What's your name, young man? Declan. Declan, Declan was spot on there, couldn't get a better answer. So, from now on, you have to call Gareth Edwards, Sir Gareth Edwards. And there he is, meeting the Duke of Cambridge, receiving his knighthood. And there's he showing off the medal there. So, we've got Sir Gareth Edwards. The, and he scored what was considered as the best try ever. Does everyone know what a try is? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You all know what a try is? That's right, when you score a point, you put the ball down over the line. So... What was voted as well as the best ever try in the game of rugby was scored by Sir Gareth Edwards. Would you all like to see it? Yes! Yeah. Okay. Almost on the halfway line, Kirkpatrick to Williams. This is great stuff. Phil Bennett covering. Chased by Alistair Scone. Brilliant! Oh, that's brilliant! John Williams, Brian Williams, pulling. John Dawes. Great dummy, it's David, Tom David, the halfway line, brilliant by Quinnell. This is Gareth Edwards, a dramatic start. What a score! Wow, that was a pretty special try, wasn't it? Okay, so you can see now why that was voted as the greatest try of all time ever. So not just in Wales, but the whole world. <coughs> And we move on now to the future of Welsh Rugby. So, we are currently playing for the Six Nations Championships, now in 2019. And after we beat England, we are the only country left in this tournament now who can win the Grand Slam. This Saturday we go to Murrayfield in Edinburgh and play against Scotland. And if we beat them, then on the 16th of March we welcome Ireland and we could possibly play, play against them for another Grand Slam. Can you believe that? There'll be three Grand Slams in Warren Gatland's era. Pretty impressive, eh? And then we've got the Rugby World Cup in Japan, correct? In 2019, so that's this year. At the end of this year, Wales will be going to compete in the Rugby World Cup. And possibly, like that team in 1905 who won the unofficial World Championship, Wales might win the official World Championship. So that is the end of the presentation. Thank you very much, but before we finish... I've got a little special message for you, okay? All the best to everyone at Awila Moor in Port Talbot. Good luck for your Welsh History Week. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Welsh rugby from Stuart Gumpy Broad. There you go. Well, thank you very much again. You've been very, very good and attentive. Message and he came along. <coughs> okay, so can you give me all first your names, please? Morgan, Elliot, Megan, Roxy, Tifa, Morgan, Sean Callagher. Um, I'm Adam Agri. I'm Dylan, Morgan Sinatra. What would you learn today about the history of Welsh rugby? I learned about the World the Cup and what different reasons they were about. 
I learned that Sir Gareth Edwards was voted the best in 2003. Um, that Gareth Edwards was voted the best try ever. Watching Sir Gareth Edwards score the try against the All Blacks. Um, about the men that didn't get paid for rugby once um, back in the days. Learning about how local clubs can get so high in rugby. Who is your favourite Welsh rugby player? Gareth Edwards. Gareth Edwards. Um, since I was small, my, fa my favourite rugby player has have to be Lee Halfpenny. Lee Halfpenny, fantastic. And did you enjoy the day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. Thank you to Sir Gareth Edwards and Gumby's Grassroots Roundups. And so there we have it. Thanks once again for tuning in to the latest edition of Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. And a huge thank you, of course, to all the pupils, staff and teachers there at Owlamore Primary. And not forgetting our very good friend, Sir Gareth Edwards. Thank you, Sir Gareth, for taking the time there to send the kids a message. Well, don't forget, if you've got any rugby-related information, especially grassroots rugby from around the Principality, please do share away on the vlog page. Get in touch even, and we'll see if we can come out to your grassroots rugby club to cover a story there. Hopefully now, the next time the next vlog will be going out, we will be celebrating a Six Nations Championship victory for Wales, Cumbria and Bith, and tune in next time to Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. Ooh.